We're going on a trip, guys. Joanna and I, we're leaving in two weeks. I'm gonna keep the destination still a secret for now, but of course, I wanna take all of you along on our trip through my videos. It's gonna be fun. And this video, of course, is the obligatory what's in my travel camera bag video. If I don't make this video, then the YouTube gods will punish me, they will hate me, and the YouTube community will cancel me. I don't want that, so I have to make this video. Let's get it over with. Okay, so the thing is, I have a small gear packing problem this time. Um, let me explain. So, Joanna and I, we are hand luggage only travelers. Why? Well, it's usually free, you don't have to wait for your stuff when you arrive, and they also can't lose your stuff. We traveled around the world for two years straight with hand luggage only, and it was perfect, it was great. Now, a lot of people who are not used to traveling, when they hear the word hand luggage, they think, something like this, you know, a handbag, this size. But in most cases, that's not true, because during those two years, my hand luggage was this, a backpack. Maximum allowed weight, 10 kilograms. And this backpack goes in the overhead bin. I also took this bag, but this is what they call a personal item, and it goes under the seat in front of you. Maximum allowed weight, also 10 kilograms. So you can take 20 kilograms for free. So what I always did was camera, lenses, stuff that can break in this smaller bag and then the rest of my gear in my backpack with my clothes and all the rest. And then this goes in the overhead bin, this under the seat, but you know, I have everything with me all the time. The problem now is that I want to take a bit more gear than before, than I'm used to. And also the airline right now asks you to check in your big hand luggage because of the health situation. I don't know exactly why. I also don't know if you have to have to, but I want to be prepared, you know? So I'm going to have to try to fit as much as possible in my smaller bag. So let's give it a try. First camera, of course. and. It's a no-brainer. I'm gonna take my Sony a7S III. It's the perfect camera for traveling. It's like an all-in-one camera. I can use it for cinematic stuff, but also for vlogging, photography. The image looks great and, I don't know, shooting with the a7S III is such an enjoyable experience. So, it's a no-brainer. I'm not gonna take a second camera because, you know, I'm not gonna shoot for clients or anything like that. I trust my Sony. I wanna keep it minimal. So I'm not gonna take a second camera. I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna pretend like this is my Sony because I'm filming with the Sony right now. Um, it's a little bit smaller, but you know, there. Okay, then lenses. I'm gonna take two lenses. First of all, the Tamron 17 to 28 2.8. I'll probably use this lens 75% of the time. 17 mm is great for vlogging. 28 mm is close to my favorite focal length, 35 mm. So I'm not gonna take the 35, this will have to do. But I am gonna take a longer focal length, my 85 mm, 2. Point, no, 1.8. So I can get those super cool shots with super shallow depth of field and you know, then there's a nice difference between the look of this lens and the longer lens. Two lenses. Let's put them in here. Already a problem? No. Maybe. Fuck. <laughs> Let me take this off, because I have to show you in a bit. There. Okay, two lenses, one camera. It's looking good so far. Next is microphone. Until recently, I was using this one, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. It's a great microphone, but there's two things that I don't like about this microphone. First of all, it's pretty big and it takes up a lot of space. You can see it already if I would have to put it in here. Yeah, so I don't like the size. And the second thing I don't like is that it only picks up sound from the front. So if I turn the camera when I'm vlogging and I'm behind the camera and I'm talking, it doesn't pick up the sound very well and it sounds bad. So I decided not to take the road. I bought a new microphone, the Deity D4 Duo. It's a lot smaller. You can see it even better if I take off these little dad cats. Come on. Nope, there. 
also the tiny dead cat back there see how small this is compared to this beast so yeah this is gonna make a big difference and also this picks up sound from the back so there's a switch here you can set it to front only or back and front so when I'm vlogging I can just turn around the camera and it will pick up the sound nicely another advantage of this microphone is that it doesn't need batteries so it's the perfect travel microphone you know and the sound well maybe it's not as good as the road but it's super close and for traveling for vlogging it's perfect I'll put all the links to this stuff in the description by the way if you want to check it out let's put it in here see it doesn't take up any space at all these a little bit more but I can maybe like this might work I can put it anywhere it's fine for now I'll just put them in here so not the road next is tripod gimbal I'm not gonna take a gimbal it would take up way too much space also not a big tripod of course but I am gonna take this youtuber classic I don't use it a lot anymore because you know when I'm vlogging usually I just have the camera in my hand but when I'm traveling I think this might come in handy if I want to put the camera somewhere hang it somewhere you know if I'm on a beach I don't want to put the camera in the sand so I think this will yeah this will do it's not gonna fit in here but this I can easily put in my big backpack yep next is ND filter we're going somewhere sunny it's still a secret but you know it's gonna be sunny so an ND filter is a must this is the new Freewell all-in-one magnetic VND filter set it's great I cracked it this one I don't know how it happens I think I might have put my camera down too enthusiastically on the floor and yeah there's a crack there at the edge I don't see anything when I'm shooting at wide apertures so I think it's still fine but if you're going somewhere sunny you know an ND filter is a must you could technically just crank up the shutter speed and do it like that I mean it's possible but if you want to do some serious stuff then I would try to avoid cranking up the shutter speed and just use an ND filter so that goes in here too okay okay still looking good in there um what else do we have oh yeah this is gonna be a problem maybe wait oh right this is a, this is also the the freewell vnd all-in-one set it comes in this little pouch so the rest of the filters is in here but i think this will go in the backpack yes okay yeah the problem okay so here's the problem my drone the mavic air 2 i love flying this thing <clears throat> <clears throat> wow I love flying this thing I don't fly it enough and I really want to take it this time so yeah for sure I can't put this in my backpack this is this it won't survive it but I think oh my god it's perfect wait no it's not perfect the problem is the controller backpack but batteries you can't put batteries in checked in luggage so if they ask me to like really check it in if I have to have to then I'm gonna have to put these in my personal item that's gonna be a problem because now it's I mean I can put one battery here probably but I still have spare batteries for my camera <sighs> okay no I think it, <laughs> it might work it might work I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna have to be careful um, but I have to take more and the bag now I mean see this is it's like nicely filled now I'll probably add some some cushioning to keep everything safe but 
this is pretty much it, right? And I'm, I'm gonna have to take more. My laptop also. Because, yeah, I'm gonna have to edit my videos over there. I'm gonna have to take cables. I'm gonna have to take chargers. Mm, cables, chargers. It's gonna be fine in my backpack. But my laptop is not gonna be fine in my backpack. If my backpack is gonna be checked in in the cargo area. So, uh, I think I'm gonna have to ask Joanna to carry some of my stuff in her personal item. That sounds really weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to do it like that. Because I think this is it. If I have my laptop with me, I think this is it, but maybe I even have to take a few things more, especially my laptop. I'm gonna have to ask Joanna to carry it. I'm gonna take something else. I don't think so. Memory cards, a few external hard drives also, cables, a dongle for my stupid MacBook that doesn't, you know, doesn't take USB-A. But yeah, that's about it. Here's another battery. That will fit too. Okay, guys, I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. This is gonna be the most important stuff. The drone, that was the problem, but it seems like it's gonna be okay if I'm very careful with this bag, because it's like packed to the limit. And as I said, I really, really wanna take the drone, because I think it's gonna be so cool to fly it over there. You'll see, we'll see. I don't even know if, I don't even know the rules over there. Drones, rules. I'll have to check also, but we'll see. That's for one of the next videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It was a bit of a mess. That's okay. See you next time. <laughs>